So, you have got sudden seborrheic dermatitis flare up on your face. Now, what to do? This is the first lesson of my seborrheic dermatitis series. And in this video, I'll tell you what you should do when you have that sudden seborrheic dermatitis flare up because what you do on those first few days matters a lot. So, step one. First, pause. Yes, you heard me right. When you have seborrheic dermatitis flare up, on your face, it means that your face is now triggered and what you do when something is triggered, you stop everything immediately. It means that you have to stop all kinds of actives, actives like retinol, actives like vitamin C, actives like niacinamide. Yes, I know niacinamide is gentle, but still you have to stop it when your skin is triggered. Actives are very potent ingredients. You don't want to put such harsh potent ingredients on your face because your face is already struggling. Step two. Next, what you have to do is you have to choose a gentle cleanser. I know a lot of people are still using those harsh cleansers, those foaming cleansers. Yes, I hate those foaming cleansers because hear me out, those foaming cleansers have a lot of harsh surfactants which if you use regularly can strip your natural oil and can make your barrier damage over the time. So when you have cerebral dermatitis flare up on your face, you stop those foaming cleansers, you stop those harsh salicylic acid based cleanser, you stop vitamin C based cleansers and you go back to basic which is a gentle basic cleanser. When I say basic cleansers, I mean that a cleanser that is supposed to take only the dust and pollutant from your skin, not the natural oil. As a skincare professional, it makes me so annoyed when I see someone is using an active based cleanser, specifically when they have cyborg dermatitis. So no, you have to stop that cleanser immediately when you have the flare up because trust me, in that time, your skin is screaming for help and a harsh cleanser is not that. Now, step number three calm the barrier. This is the most important part when you have any kind of flare-up. It can be cyber dermatitis, it can be acne flare-ups, anything. I see this in a lot of people that when they have either cyber dermatitis or fungal acne flare-ups, they try to include all those harsh treatments first and then they think about calming the barrier. But it should be your first priority to calm the barrier and then fix the problem. Because think about it, if your foundation is not strong enough, it doesn't matter what you're putting onto it, it will break down. And that's what happens when you try to fix a problem on your broken barrier because it's not able to fix it. Now you might be thinking, okay, Salmin, how should I calm the barrier? Good question. To calm the barrier, first you have to choose a basic cleanser, which I already talked about. Then you have to choose a calming first toner and second a calming moisturizer so in case of toner you should not go anything harsh again you should be focusing on calming ingredients green tea is excellent for cyborg dermatitis because first of all it's hydrating and second it's anti-inflammatory and it is so gentle that if you use it even twice a day it won't strip the natural oil from your skin either take green tea aloe cucumber those are very calming and soothing hyaluronic acid if you don't get anything like if you don't excess cucumber or aloe or green tea then you might be considering hyaluronic acid otherwise the three first ingredients you should be considering is first aloe then second is green tea and third is cucumber first three days of your flare-up you are calming the barrier you are using a gentle cleanser you are using a gentle toner which has either aloe green tea or cucumber better if it has three of those if you don't get anything then hyaluronic acid toner and then you include a moisturizer that has ceramide so i would say that if you can get a moisturizer that has ceramide cholesterol fatty acid not necessarily the three is to one is to one ratio but they are present there is better i can recommend you one moisturizer which is the peak Kato that has the clinical grade three is to one is to one other than that there are so many korean moisturizers that has ceramide one of my favorites is the cosrx ceramide barrier repair i use it personally when my skin has flare up or when my skin is normal, this is my go-to moisturizer and I love it. After three days, when the barrier is calm and it is 
into a better place you include an antifungal treatment which is the ketoconazole shampoo you can take a ketoconazole shampoo which is nizoral basically for me this is a very known brand and you can use it this is well formulated and gentle as well so you pick that one you apply onto your face after three days every day for the next seven days until the flare ups come down first you cleanse it then you damp it then you dilute it either on your palm or on your face and you then you keep it for two to five minutes and then you wash it with cold or lukewarm water for seven days you can stop it and then you can switch into a gentler approach where you are using that ketoconazole shampoo as a prevention method and you can use it then once in a week or once in a two week depends on your skin moral of the story first you calm your barrier do not jump right into an antifungal treatment because if you don't fix your barrier and then you put a harsh treatment like ketoconazole shampoo on your barrier it will backfire for sure and that's why a lot of people even though their dermatitis flare up goes away they notice that their skin feels super dry and it breaks down right after a flare up because they are not taking care of their barrier properly however if you're someone like me who is into holistic skincare and like to fix any skin issues internally when you have dermatitis flare up according to ayurveda it's a pita imbalance so what you can do you can drink cooling juices like cucumber or aloe vera juice so there you have it first you stop all the harsh treatments then you calm the barrier and then you include a treatment and then you prevent it by keeping it gentle you have to follow this for at least three weeks and after that if you want you can stop the shampoo completely i hope it was helpful for you this routine has worked for me i have cerebral dermatitis personally trust me i don't have it anymore because i always keep it under control remember that you cannot fix or get rid of seborrheic dermatitis but what you can do is that by consistent trial and error you find a routine that does not trigger the seborrheic dermatitis on your face so that was the first lesson of my seborrheic dermatitis series in the next video i'll talk about the home remedies that can actually calm down your seborrheic dermatitis so stay tuned and do not miss the next episode because i promise you it will be super helpful